Yo, what is up? What is up, man? It's Magic 2K. Check it out. Um, so we're gonna jump right into this. But before we do, yo, if you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit that sub button. And yo, all my returning subscribers, make sure y'all drop that like, man. We need them likes. It really helps us out a lot. Look, um, we're gonna jump right into this. This video is about how to make the perfect guard that can shoot and dunk so we won't be worried too much about ball handling even though i feel like that's important so we actually we're going to implement ball handling shooting the three and dunking the ball that's what i mean by shooting shooting the three dunking the ball ball handling so when you're looking at that you got to go with a specific type of pie chart obvious and the question is what Where's that? Where's that? Where's that cutoff for the dunks? Well, Mike Wayne released a tweet about the dunks and what number you would need for a contact and what you would need for um, every different position. Like what position needs like uh, 85, what position needs a 75, and so on and so on. But those were specifically how to get the contact like elite dunks you don't really need elite contact dunks you know what i'm saying them showtime dunks the crazy dunks that people are like, oh shit you don't need none of that to get a contact dunk all you need is to have a decent driving and a solid three point and a solid ball handling so you can do pretty much anything so your animations might not be elite but you're still gonna be able to dunk the ball on somebody or something like that so that's what we're gonna be going for we're not going for a build that got like contact you know what i'm saying contact dunks that are per se drop people on their ass and shit like that um me when i'm building my build i'm always going for like defense so this will be a part chart that would be something I'm, I might look into because I'm about playing some defense, a little bit of ball handling, shooting a three with an 83, and then you, of course you got your driving dunk, which is a 78. This is a build that we can essentially use. So, actually, no, we're gonna stay away from that. We're going with a build that that majority of people that don't really play a lot of defense will go with, and that will be this one right here. Um, you got some cool defense for for a guard. You can handle the ball, lightweight. You got some post form, you got some three ball, driving dunk is an 83, which is, which is, that's super high. Now, this is the main question. I had a subscriber ask me, what's more important when it comes to making a guard that can dunk, you know what I'm saying, and shoot? Is it strength or is it vertical? The answer to that question, my guy, is the vertical. When you a guard, you don't really need to be the strongest, but you do need to jump pretty damn high because you got to, you might you got contact you got the contact dunk on say gold or hall of fame or whatever and then you need a giant slayer but if you ain't got no vertical you ain't slaying nothing so let's go ahead and throw the driving dunk i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make even the badges that are essential to su to succeed with in this video so i'm gonna show you exactly how i will personally be making i will be making my build this way and this is how i would be doing it and how what i'm looking for um if i'm really aiming to slash i'm gonna be one on one i want like more slashing badges so the most the more you can get is good but don't waste your points like on standard dunk i'm not gonna waste no points on that i mean even though i'll be essentially probably get it for like 20 what are we get like 21 yeah see i would get like 21 i'll revisit that you know what i'm saying let's make sure we get everything else out the way first passing accuracy i'll do that second that depends on it depends on the build that i'm using when i'm making my build um i either leave passing accuracy empty or ball handling empty yeah i know y'all like ball handling empty. yes I, I will leave ball handling empty or passing depending on the kind of build i'm making like if i'm making a post form build i don't need ball handling but i need pass accuracy but if i'm making this kind of build where i want to be scoring from the three-point line all the way into the key, your pass accuracy doesn't need to be that high. All right. Like I said, I'm making this the way that I will, well, that I will be making my build. Like, I may not be making this build, but this is how I'm going to do my build, especially when it comes down to making these. All right. Lateral quickness. Perimeter defense. All right. You know what? We're not going to get any... Um, 
eight badges. So I'm actually gonna keep my skill at 70, lateral quickness at 70. And with lateral quickness, if you got lateral quickness, if you can play, essentially play defense, then I don't think you'll have a problem playing uh, guarding, say, anybody around the perimeter, you know what I'm saying? So once again, I feel like that's a waste, so I'm gonna leave that alone. All right, um, this part, when you start to get in here and mess around with the bags, I'm gonna go with uh, a 70 ball handler. Yeah, then I'm gonna go with a 70 ball and a 10. Let's see if there's, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a little bit away from that. I'm trying to get a little defense, but I don't think it's gonna work. So let's see, maybe we can squeeze out a 20. All right, maybe we got 20 finish badges, 20, 20, 21 shooting badges. All right, check it out. So depending on how you want to go, this is where you're going to place your stats. You know what I'm saying? I think this is going to be perfect for what I'm about to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. But if you want to go more towards slashing, then obviously you want to get as many slashing badges as possible and maybe concentrate more on defense. But if you want to go more on shooting, then maybe get as many. As, as you can see, I got max shooting badges because I do a lot of shooting. So max out the shooting badges take a little bit away from which is only a one point away from the slashing and you know what i'm saying pretty pretty balance everything out that's the key like you know what i'm saying when you're building these builds you got to make sure you're keeping in mind exactly what you what exactly what you're building and what you're taking away another thing is don't get too caught up in the numbers you know what i'm saying there's certain numbers that you only need to be worried about the three-point ball if you can get that as an 80 or a high 70s then you're good if you can you if you can you're a shooter okay you don't need a 90 something three to score if you want taking wide open shots and your timing is right you master your jump shot you're good if you got an 83 82 79 79 to 85 driving dunk you're good you know what i'm saying so just make sure your stats you're not too caught up in a sense like my steal is a 70, my block 70. I mean, like, that's all cool. You know what I'm saying? My interior defense, zero, that's all cool. But I'm still, you remember, you're still, you want the sticks. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't need to be too worried about all of the stats. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get too caught up with the stats. Because, I mean, prime example, you guys, we've seen year and year again with 2K, these guys be having like a 40, 50 open three ball and with green, the lights out on your ass. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, don't get too caught up with the stats. This is still 2K at the end of the day. This is still 2K. Do not get, do not get it confused. I mean, I do. I, I like the way they, the direction they're going with this this year, but this is still 2K, and we know we're gonna see some, some bullshit. Ain't no other way of saying it. We're gonna see some, some, some ish this this year as we do every year. So, um, and this is the year we're gonna see. I feel like we're gonna see a demigod. Somebody gonna create one. I, I think that I've been, I've made a pretty crazy ass build that I'm gonna be running on. I think it's OP as, OP as hell. I think that uh, I won't be revealing that until the, until the game drop. But this game is gonna be crazy, man. Don't get too caught up with the stats. Like I'm saying, let's go with my build. I'm not gonna be tripping on too much of the hype. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm doing this. I'm doing this build specifically for a subscriber as well. Um, I'm gonna go six five like i think that going six four you're just too short you don't get enough benefit you know what i'm saying but if you really want that one extra point or something on there i mean you can go shorter but staying six five going six six you lose driving dunk like there's no it's not a win so go stay i mean stay i mean i said six five going six six is not a win so six five is a cool height i mean you're tall enough now this is right here is going to be based on preference if you want to be a little bit quicker on the lateral quickness and you want a little bit higher vert and you want to be a little bit faster by all means go lightest weight me i'm not i'm actually going i'm aiming for a 90 vert and that's that's about right here yeah not 189 because i'm not worried about strength you guys remember you know what i'm saying you want to look at like think of like a derrick rose probably not the strongest dude in the paint but I mean, he he jump, he boing, he boinging over you, so it don't even matter, man. He was a kangaroo, you know what I'm saying? So you got 81 speed, 81 acceleration, a 90 burp. So you dunking on shit, you know what I'm saying? Now this is gonna be how good now, how good of a shooter are you? Is gonna compare how you want your wingspan. If you 
know you I'm not really the best shooter but you can kind of shoot i wouldn't recommend going since five max on two inch but if you know you shoot if you only take wide open shots but you play a lot of defense i would recommend not maxing it out but maybe going for like a 79 open three or something like that but if you want to take the easy way out which it's 2k I, I i think this is the the most logical way is to just minimize your wingspan to about right here so you got like a a 70 block and a, a 81 three ball you know what i'm saying so you good you, you still don't really matter you know what i'm saying if you time it right this year apparently it's easy to steal the ball anyway so as long as you time in the time in it right but if you need to you can keep it basic but i'm gonna keep it on it i'm going for the 81 shooting you know what i'm saying all right now with this build i don't know what your preference will be when it comes to taking takeover um honestly takeover it really is based off how you like to play you know what i'm saying if you really if you really want to get those booms you want to you want to dunk, dunk on somebody then you obviously want to go with slashing if you're just a spot up shooter it, it, like i said this is your play style if you just run around shooting threes the whole game then obviously you go to spot up shooter but i'm gonna be honest going shot creator is pretty much in my opinion the best out of all three because it was this kind of kind of combines like half of the ability of the slasher half of the ability of the shooter and it gives you the ability to take off dribble shots which if you think about it you can do with sharp shooting takeover you can run around and shoot off the dribbles at the three and be just green and shit shot creator you can literally do the same thing you dunk on people with your um, with your slashing shot creator and takeover you can literally do the same thing like it's, it's not as effective all right it's not as effective when it comes to slashing it's not as effective but it still happens like you know what i'm saying you still get a boost you still take over so i'm going shot creating that's that's just me but if you what i'm saying you want to focus on one point of your game then that's what you want to do obviously i've already known this this is going to be the build three level score it's actually the kind of build that i'll be running with which will be a three level score but uh built different uh you know what I'm saying? we got a little james harden this, this is score this is a scoring machine bro. this is a problem it's a true problem it's one of them bills man you just you gotta guard up you gotta guard up i'm just gonna go over 99 i don't know if i'm gonna be doing too much of the i'm not really into playing the demo over and over again so i don't think i'll be playing anything this video but i will be showing you guys how what badges you need all right these badges are are essential all right contact finisher now this is personal based on preference i like throwing on hall of fame just because i can do it and mind you i've been a, sh a sharp shooter like since 17 so i've never really had a hall of fame slashing badge like at the end of the day you know what i'm saying um acrobat i feel like is a is a imp really important badge like you know what i'm saying um fancy footwork i'm also putting that on silver Teardropper. Now, I only feel you should equip this badge here is if you actually perform running through floaters and stuff like that. Because I'm be honest, I've always had teardropper like every year. I never use it. I, I, I really rarely do floaters. So honestly, that ain't in my game. So I'm not putting it on there. But if it's in your game, I feel like teardropper is obviously a badge you want to grab. You know what I'm saying? Slithery finisher. I put that. The reason I oh you, I mean oh man. By the way, you probably wonder why I put one badge Hall of Fame and the rest of my badge is silver. All right, every badge at least the badges I'm gonna grab are gonna be at least silver. Whatever I have extra, I'll go through and I'll upgrade everything that's important. I, I think that you should do the same thing so that way you don't find yourself grabbing badges like deep hooks and on bronze and you know what I'm saying. Make sure make sure that you pick badges if you don't want to pick these badges pick badges that essential that are essential to your play style and then go back and if you want to grab a couple things on bronze that's cool but for the most part focus on the things that are essential to your game style you know what i'm saying yo the way you play um live city finisher this one badge i will put on bronze because i feel like this is one of those badges like every once in a while especially when you when you blowing somebody out Y'all want to show out, you want to throw some lobs, finish your pass, stuff like that. I want to make sure I finish the mines. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Fancy footwork, Giant Slayer. I put that on gold. Uh, fast break finishing. Um, I feel like if you play pro am, I don't really play pro am like that. But if you play pro am, uh, I think you might want to grab this right here. This is important. All right. Okay. Now let's see. Relentless finisher. Nah, but consistent finisher. I do find myself sometimes even release it like the release for a layup is so fast. I'm gonna for sure grab this. You know what I'm saying? It's a good bag. It's I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a cop out badge. You know what I'm saying? So you can release the ball horribly and make layups. But at the same time, I'm thinking like Kyrie Irving. He go up, he do some crazy release. I'm not crazy release, but it's some crazy layup and it goes in. That's how I think when I when I think of this badge right here. That's what I think of. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me a. Um, Maybe I should do this. This badge is crazy right here. This is uh, like when you do euros and stuff like that. That's what this badge is for. So we're gonna grade that to gold. Acrobat. I think you need. I mean, I think the acrobat is for like. Wait, but I need backwards. Yeah, acrobat is for euro steps and cradles and stuff like that. And fancy forward was like spin moves, right? Oh no, it's for the same shit. Okay, hop step, crash, spin moves, and spin moves, and yeah, they both essential, man. You know what I'm saying? You need both of these, especially being a six five. So we're gonna put that gold. I think slithery finishers avoid contact at the rim. I'm not gonna upgrade that to some crazy shit. I'm gonna just put lob city finish up there. I'm thinking. Now you know what? I'm gonna just throw fast break, fast break finisher on bronze. All right, another thing about the bronze badges, you guys, is don't be afraid to grab bronze badges. Like if you Say I have five, five upgrades of rebound. I mean, I said rebound in defense. I would um, I would have five bronze defensive badges, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because when I was playing last night, I actually made a player and I tested that theory out. Where if I like only have bronze badges in my defense, how often would they activate? Like would pick, pick and roll or activate all that stuff like that? It all activates, man. It all activates really well. You know what I'm saying? Very often. Um, but so our so if you have that option, that's what you want to do, especially with. As a matter of fact, that goes with any anything. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a badge, but you don't really need it on Hall of Fame. Get it on bronze. Um, the first badge you want to get here is uh for me, as a shooter, because you want to be able to shoot shots. You know what I'm saying? Difficult shots. Catch and shoot. I'm gonna just put it on bronze for now. Corner specialist, I don't shoot a lot of shots from the corner, but if you do, like you play a lot of tools and you shoot by the might want to get that corner specialist, my dude. Um, hot zone hunter, another good badge that you want to use because when you get your hot spots, you will hit shit more frequently. Me, I'm gonna need gold dead eye. If you're getting a hall of fame difficult shot, remember difficult shots means you're gonna be taking some difficult shots, and essentially you'll be shooting mid-range this is this is not just deep range this is mid-range and deep range uh dead eye so you need this badge like you know what i'm saying you need it at least on gold so i'm gonna get it on gold now another badge for you guys quick draw at least on gold at least this is going for my shooting guards for shooting for you guys need this badge this badge is essential to your success okay nobody wants to use default slow ass jump shots so Get this quick draw. Um, I feel like when we playing with 2K, cop out badges, whether they're frowned upon or not, should be utilized. They're in the game. Why put yourself at a default? You know what I'm saying? It's like this guy's using all these cop out badges, and you want to have all of these prestigious badges and no extra help on it. Why? Why do it to yourself? You know what I'm saying? Just because you have some cop-out badges don't mean you're not good at the game. Bro, I'm going to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? All you're doing is putting yourself, you know what I'm saying, at a in a situation where somebody going to be, you 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 might have a game. I mind you, you can play like 10,000 games to get to Legend. You mean to tell me you're not going to have one game where you might release the ball back? Because you're a robot, right? Okay. Flexible releases on gold, my guy. 
Oh, no, let's check it out. Uh, another thing is I run with is range extender. I put that on gold or hall of fame, depending on whether I'm going to go around and look for some more badges. I'm going to be honest, I'm about to do what I told y'all. I'm going to go around and grab corner specials on bronze. This is the, when I go grab my bronze badge, this is stuff I don't do often. When I do, when I, this is stuff like I don't do certain things often, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go get a hot zone hunter on bronze. If, if, if it activate, it activate. If it don't, it don't. You know what I'm saying? Tyler score, I'm going to throw that on silver though. You know what I'm saying? Because especially, I, essentially, I feel like this is a more important badge. Like, honestly, if you were a pure, sharp, more archetype, you would need this badge on like gold or hall of fame like it's an essential badge because the energy this year man just goes out so fast like you know what i'm saying but yo check it out see my badges that's what we're doing bronze badges for, for, for stuff that we don't do as often or stuff that we kind of need a boost with like you got the hot zone flexible releases for when we you know what i'm saying we fuck up on that release like i, I can't tell you i fuck up on release on a off a dribble pull up of a dribble, like you know, like a not a dribble, more like a fadeaway in movie shots. Man, my shots be kind of jank sometimes, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, they be jank sometimes. Difficult shot, dead eye, and flexible release. Say today, in fact, boom. I'm putting flexible release hall of fame because even though, like, I got I'm it's a shooting, it's a more of a shooting slashing build. I know that my play style. I'm looking at this more of a slash and shot creating sharp shooting build. That's how y'all look at this. Alright. Um, alright, now this part. Ankle breaker, obviously. We're gonna get we're gonna get that. For some reason you can't have dimer. So we're gonna go quick first step. We'll put this on gold. Alright, now we got a problem. Cause unpluckable. Is guaranteed gonna be gold, you know what I'm saying? So, unpluggable, probably the most important badge for a lot of people, especially when you don't got if you have low ball handling, bro, you need to max out your unpluggable, like you know what I'm saying? You need to, it is not gonna guarantee you never gonna get ripped, but it's gonna minimize how often you get picked. Because, I mean, especially with the dribble system, if you got low ball handling, I can only imagine how easy it's gonna be when people really figure out, like these lockdowns, figure out how to really pick your ass bro you're gonna be getting stripped so um normally i would go with like a stop and go a space creator a quick first step but i'm gonna be honest space creator i need that on silver quick first step i need that on at least silver unpluggable gold unnegotiable ankle breaker negotiable but for sure i'm having it on gold because this is a scoring build i ain't looking to be passing the ball all right now my defensive badge now there's gonna be a lot of builds that have one defensive badge and everybody just probably grabbing clamps or whatever i'm gonna tell you the badge you need pick dodger this is gonna be your best friend like you your bronze your bronze pick dodger is gonna be essential to your defense because if you don't have defense like attributes mind you you still kind of got the stats and if you got the lateral quickness you can play defense if you're a tall guy you can play defense this build is going to be a little bit it's going to be iffy playing some defense from the interior because you have a short wingspan and you're going to have to essentially block the ball you gotta block you gotta you gotta be you're gonna have to get good at timing when people are gonna go up inside the key which is essentially i, I feel like some of the hardest defense in 2k to play is interior but at the end of the day three is more than two and you can play great defense on the perimeter so as long as you get somebody that can give you that help on the inside you got nothing to worry about but pick dodger when you're playing twos or even threes when they set them screens if you don't have this badge bro if you do not have this badge you're getting toasted especially if you got a teammate that is low iq and does not step up so pick dodger you want this this is essential essential to your success everything else you don't need to worry about it yo but that's um all the badges that you're gonna need to make the perfect slashing shooting build okay um if you guys have any other questions or any other builds you guys want me to go over or show you guys exactly how to make 
like perfect shooting builds, perfect slashing builds. Just let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'm, I'll do my best. I will do my best to get you these, to get you these builds, man. But other than that, it's been great. It's Magic 2K, and I'm. I be on that fly shit. That fly shit. Yo, Yo, bitch wanna trace it to my bitch. I, I, I be on that one and I'ma buy shit. I'ma get it. You be on that.